Hello friends, I am Navin from WP Help Guide. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn step by step how to regenerate thumbnail on your WordPress site. I have written an in-depth article on how to regenerate thumbnail in WordPress. Please feel free to check the blog post as well. I will provide the link in the description below. First, let's talk about what does regenerate thumbnail really means. By default, when you upload an image to WordPress, it automatically crops the uploaded images into different sizes and save them in the uploads folder. This theme has a defined crop size for the images that you use in the featured image, in the post, on the home page or on your blog page. So if your images are cropped properly, it appears uniform and your site looks professional. However, when you switch to a new theme, the images that you have used in the previous theme may slightly look off. As a result, your blog post may look unprofessional. In such scenario, you need to regenerate the new sizes for all the previously uploaded images. This process is commonly known as regenerating thumbnails. In simple words, it basically means to regenerate all your images to specific sizes set by the theme. Well, this might seem complicated to you but it is very simple process and it is something you should always do whenever you switch to a new theme. Let me show you this in action. Before we get started, if you are new to the channel and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos. Now let's head over to the dashboard and create a new post. To create a post, go to post and click on all post. And here I have already created a post so I'll just go and edit the post. I have also made an in-depth tutorial on how to create posts and pages in Gutenberg block editor. I'll provide the tutorial link in the description below. Please feel free to check the tutorial as well. Now here I will insert an image. To insert an image just click on plus icon and select the image block. Here you get an option to upload an image or select an image from the media library. You can also insert an image from the URL. I'll go with the media library option and here I will select this image and click on select. On the right hand side you will see image sizes. So here is the image size for thumbnail, medium, large, full size. So let's go with thumbnail. The default sizes for thumbnail is 150 by 150 pixel. For medium it is 300 by 300 pixel and for large it is 1024 by 1024 pixel. Now let's publish this post click on update and let's view this post and here you can see the image is in thumbnail size you can verify this by clicking on inspect and here you can see the image size is 150 by 150 pixel you can also change the default sizes for thumbnail medium and large by navigating to settings and media and as you can see here here is the size defined for thumbnail for medium and for large size so let's change the thumbnail size to 300 pixel and for medium let's go with 600 and then click on save changes now let's return to our post and add a new image so I'll just add a new image here click on plus go to image now let's select the thumbnail image once again as you can see here the width is still 150 by 150 pixel though you can change this width and height from here it is not idle because if you have used the thumbnail size images in lots of your posts and you want them to reside to 300 pixels, you have to manually change them. So, in this case, regenerating the images will resolve this issue. Now, let's update the post and refresh here. And the image size is still 150 pixels as shown in the dashboard. Also, you have noticed that I am using 2020 theme. So now let's switch to another theme. So to switch the theme, just go to appearance and go to themes. And here I'll go with Vilva theme. 
and let's refresh our site and here you can see the images doesn't look good and let's check the home page so here as you can see here the images are not uniformly cropped you can notice the same issue here as well and if you have noticed all the images on the home page are not uniform so let's dive into fixing this issue to fix this issue we'll use a free plugin called regenerate thumbnails to install the plugin just go to dashboard and go to plugins click on add new in the search field type regenerate thumbnails And once you see this plugin, just click on install now. And this plugin is very popular. It has 1 million plus active installation. This was updated 4 months ago and it has a rating of 353. To install the plugin, just click on install now. I've also made an in-depth tutorial on how to install an activator theme and how to resolve the issue that you might face during the installation of a plugin. Once the plugin is installed, just click on activate. Once the plugin is activated, you will see your new menu under tools and regenerate thumbnails. Just click here. And here you can see the list of image sizes defined in the theme. So here you can see the thumbnail size which changed to 300 pixel for medium, it is now 600 pixel. And these are the predefined sizes set by the theme. Please note that if your uploaded image dimension is less than the predefined sizes, the plugin won't generate any new copies of images. For example, let's suppose your theme uses 1170 by 600 pixel featured image for a single post and 350 by 250 pixel image on the blog page. If you upload an image less than 1170 pixel, maybe 1000 into 800 pixel, then it will only regenerate images of size 350 by 250 pixel to display on the blog page so you can either upload the recommended image sizes or upload an image that is larger than the recommended size then the plugin will handle it by regenerating them now let's regenerate the images for our site here you will see two options is keep regenerating existing correctly sized thumbnails and the other option is to delete the thumbnail files for old on register sizes in order to free up the server space i suggest you check mark this as well and you can uncheck this mark now click on regenerate thumbnail for all your attachments or you can either go with regenerate thumbnail for only the featured images in my case i'll go with regenerate thumbnail images for all of my attachments depending upon the number of files that it has to generate it will take couple of seconds to couple of minutes Now it has started generating the images, so let's wait for some minutes. As you can see on the screen, the plugin has successfully regenerated all my previously uploaded images. So let's head over to our site and see whether the, any kind of changes has happened or not. So if you have noticed earlier the images were not uniform in the slider and here you can see the images are uniform. So let's check on the home page. The images are uniformly sized. These are also uniformly sized. These are also uniform. And again all the images on the home page are of same sizes. Now. Let's check the post where we had added thumbnail size images earlier. So this is the post and when you scroll down, you'll see the images are of the same size that we had added earlier. So let's inspect the issue by clicking on edit post and let's select this image and here let's refresh this one. So here you can see the medium size is now 600 
by 450 so let's change it back to the thumbnail and as you can see here our thumbnail image size is now 300 by 300 pixel width so let's update our post and view this post and here you can see this image is larger than this one in addition to regenerating thumbnails in bulk you can also regenerate thumbnail for a single image or selected number of images to do so navigate to your dashboard and go to media go to library and by default it is grid view switch back to the list view and when you hover over the image you will get the option for regenerate thumbnails so just go to the image for which you want to regenerate thumbnails and click on regenerate thumbnails here you'll see the list of sizes that this plugin will regenerate thumbnails if you have noticed that here is a check mark and here is a cross mark it is because the image that we have uploaded is less than 2048 by 2048 pixels so it will not generate thumbnail size image of this size now to regenerate the thumbnail for this image just click on regenerate thumbnails and it will start generating the thumbnails in addition to this you can also generate thumbnails for the selected number of images to do so go to media go to library on the right hand side select the images for which you want to regenerate the thumbnails so in this case i'll go with this image this one this one and this one and here you will see the option in the drop down you will see the regenerate thumbnail option select this option and click on apply now to regenerate the thumbnail for the selected images just click on this option and it will start generating the thumbnails for these images this is all about regenerating thumbnail in wordpress i hope this video was helpful and you learn how you can easily regenerate images in your wordpress site if you find this video helpful Please like the video and hit the subscribe button to support my work. If you have any question or just want to share any thoughts, please feel free to let me know in the comments below.